morning guys, so it's um, <clears throat> 2.19 and I uh, was supposed to have a pain management appointment today and um, that drive is usually like an hour um, to get to the appointment, but it's worth it because the doctor's really, really good. So, me and my mom today when we were driving out to go, we're arguing over if I should be five minutes late and get Duncan or not get it and be on time. So we were arguing about it. I won the argument. We went and we got um, coffee and we had, to, like where we got the coffee, we had to do a U-turn to get on the parkway that we passed. So we were, we were in the lane to do the U-turn, you know, like all the way in the left lane and um, we're waiting for the light to change and like right before the light changed, there was um, a car that was parked like next to an auto body shop and there was another car that we watched like the person driving like lost control and just completely slammed into the parked car and when the parked car got hit because they were going really fast when the parked car got hit um, there were a few pedestrians like two pedestrians that got hit like flying up in the air hit so me and my mom pulled over and called 911 <clears throat> and I went and like sat up with um, one of the pedestrians, the one that got really, really hurt, and I sat with her. Um, so we saw a very severe accident. Um, I'm going to show you guys the pictures here. So like the red car was the one that was parked, so it was almost like a reverse T-bone where the blue car um, lost control, turned to its left and went sideways, I mean turned to its right and went sideways on the left side into the red car, and then up where the red car was you can see like a few drops of um, blood and that's where the woman was that I was helping. So. Um, It was a pretty bad accident, and uh, from getting on the floor and trying to get this woman to stay down, and um, you know, just because we were the only ones that ended up actually seeing the accident happen, the people, all the other people that were there, came out of an auto body shop that was there. So nobody saw anything except me and my mom. So we had to like get out, and um, which obviously, yeah, we needed to get out. We needed to help them, but. Um, we were the only ones that saw it, so we needed to be there for uh, to talk to the police officer. Um, but uh, it was just such such a terrible accident. The ambulance ambulances showed up so quick, um, which was amazing. Um, like so quick, like it felt like it wasn't even like 60 seconds, um, which is absolutely amazing. Um, two of the people. Everybody lived, but two of the people probably have life-threatening injuries, um, the driver and then the woman that I stood with, because she went flying, and the car was going, the car that hit the other car was going at like 45 miles per hour. It was going really, 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 really fast. Um, obviously, like, we don't know the situation, so we don't understand, you know, we have no idea what happened and what caused all of this. Um, I think maybe the guy was trying to blow a red light. I'm not sure, I really don't know. Um, and it was just, yeah, it was just an awful, awful accident. And um, I couldn't make it out to my appointment, so we called in thinking that, you know, maybe if, you know, we say that we witnessed an accident we had to stay on the scene, that they would just be like, okay, well, you can still come in. Because I can't get refills on my medication because it's a, a um, because it's a controlled substance, I can't get refills without seeing the doctor. And so I, uh, sorry, I'm watching the World Cup too. So I need to see the doctor to get my medication. So I only have like five days worth of medication and they, yeah, they just couldn't get me in. And I have to try to make that last 
quite a bit. Um, my appointment's going to be next Wednesday. I mean, there's only so much you can do, but it kind of pissed me off that we, um, you know, it wasn't like I was like, oh my god, you know, I hit traffic. It's like, I got, I, like, I saw a really severe accident, you know, like, please just let me come in later, but they said no, so I'm back home. Um, trying to eat, took a shower, well, washed my hair, then took a bath. Um, I'm watching the World Cup right now. Uh, I called my home health company because I think I missed a de delivery that they never called out, I guess, when I was in France. So I am supposed to get it at some point tonight because um, I have nothing. Um, that's pretty much it. I just really wanted to talk about the accident, obviously. It was like, it was an awful, awful accident. But anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. She doesn't want to go with me. She doesn't want to ever do anything we want her to do. And watch, she's going to jump over me. Rosie, come here, baby. Now she scared herself. Hi, Rosie. What are you doing? See? Told you guys. I went down and spent a few minutes with my family and um, my mom is going to be getting our scale and we're going to be um, weighing Rosie and weigh weighing Thelma. Thelma's probably like three pounds. Rosie's probably like four. Come here. Come here, baby. Hey. Hey, look. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, good girl. Come here. Come here. All right. No way. You're seven point two pounds. I'm ordering stickers for my laptop off of Redbubble, um, which is sort of like like Etsy, but it's like pictures people like submit, and then they can be put on like mugs and like shirts and stickers and whatever. So Adrian, I should show you guys when I see him tomorrow. Um, Adrian, when he got his laptop from his job, um, he went in and bought. He bought 10 stickers, but I think only 5 of them were his. I thought he gave me one. But now I don't know. I don't know where they went. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot. They're still at Adrian's. I think they're in the TV. Oh my god. I completely forgot I got those. Um, but I'm looking for some more I want to put on my laptop. Because it, as you can see, has nothing on it. Um... And then I'll see if my sister maybe wants a few, because I know it's like free shipping for 10 stickers or something. And the stickers are like $2, so... Right now I'm looking at getting a semicolon, um, getting a Zebra 3DS, and, um, kind of go from there. Keep you guys updated on what I decide to choose. Hey, so it's um, about 12.45. Um, I was going to take like all of my night medication and all of that stuff. Um, but I'm going to Adrian's very early tomorrow and I know that I'm not going to put my shipment stuff away. Um, so, because uh, I got both my boxes today. I don't know if I, I don't know if I even mentioned it. But um, I was like overdue and should have gotten it while I was away, but then didn't, and then called yesterday, and never received an answer back. It was really weird, because I've had only good things with my home health company. They're usually sending things out, like, immediately, um, but I had to call in for this time, so I don't understand. Maybe there's some managerial, I don't know, something, I don't know, going on, shipment, I don't know. 
I don't know, something. So I did call today and they sent it out, so I got it tonight. And I need to open it to bring my stuff to Adrian's, but I also need to, um, to open both of the boxes to put it away. And, um, because when we were, we were coming back, uh, with less IV supplies than when we left, um, because I had, like, nine bags when we went over to France and we had, like, five bags going over to Nice, but coming back, um, we were still putting it in as being, um, like, medical luggage. So, what we kind of had to do, we had to, like, pull all the stuff I had organized in bags out and, like, just had it all on top and then, like, secured it and put the note, um, under, like, the straps so that it looked like it was a lot of medical stuff. Um, so I haven't gone through and taken out that. I've only done the clothing. Everything else will be, like, super quick, but it's just, like, today I've just felt so much worse than I us usually do, and I don't... I just do not understand why. I don't understand, like, I don't get it. Like, usually there's some sort of a reason, but I just cannot, like, I don't, I, I have no idea why I feel so terrible today and a lot of yesterday, but I feel awful. Um, yeah, so I'm putting all my stuff away, but I hopefully go to bed soon. I don't know why I feel like this. Hey guys, so I'm having a bit of a rough night, um, just still not feeling well, um, and I think it's almost actually like 4 o'clock in the morning, none of my medicine has kicked in, um, but I'm still gonna close the vlog out, um, and I'll be going to Adrian's, I think around 11, um, the community college my sister is doing her summer class at is like halfway between our house and Adrian's house. So what she's gonna do is just drive. It's a little, actually, the, the college is a little bit, or a decent amount actually close to, closer to Adrian. So she's just gonna be able to like drive up to him, drop me off, and then it's like a 15 minute drive to, um, to the school. So I can get there early. There's a lot of good soccer games on tomorrow and I'm looking forward to watching it with his family, um, so I will see you guys tomorrow, thank you guys for watching, I hope everybody's doing